What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Super 7 Ultimates Notorious B.I.G. aka Biggie Smalls. Now in yesterday's video we took a look at the ODB Old Dirty Bastard from the Wu-Tang Clan and today we're taking a look at Biggie. So far these are the only two hip-hop figures from the 7 inch Ultimate line so hopefully they make more. But let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Um, ODB had a very very unique packaging where his packaging was meant to resemble his album cover. This one here um, it's just very generic but it still looks like very high class and very elegant so it's done in a flat black but you have all the lettering done in a gloss black which adds a really nice look to it so you can see big going across the front and that kind of goes onto the sides as the g wraps around on this side and the b wraps around on this side and then as we come over to this side you can see it says the notorious and then big continues throughout the front you have obviously the silhouette of biggie here with his little fedora um and that's done in like a metallic gold and then as you come to the top here you can see ultimates also also done in that metallic gold as well which looks pretty nice and then on the back you have notorious big i'm assuming this is his like actual signature um that would just be my guess i don't know if that's something they made up but i'm going to assume this is his actual signature and then once you go ahead and pull the sleeve up you are greeted with the figure and all of the accessories and i really like how they kept that gold theming throughout the back of the packaging here you can see that gold foil in the background and then you are obviously are presented with all the plethora of head sculpts uh different hands uh tat glasses is Kane, just so many different accessories that come with this, which we're going to take a look at in a second. Other than that, you just have the Notorious B.I.G. logo up there, Super 7, ages 14 plus, and then if you come to the back, you have a little bit of a read-up, so if you guys want to read that, you can go ahead and pause right there. And that is pretty much it for the packaging, so really nice packaging on here, but nothing like too crazy. But now we're going to go ahead and get him out of the packaging and take a closer detailed look at it. Alright you guys, so here is Biggie out of the packaging, but before we take a look at him, I do want to take a look at all of the accessories, so we're going to start with the different heads that are included. So, the one that comes standard on the figure is a more just kind of laid back and relaxed head but you get this one who is a, just a little bit more angry looking has a little bit of a snarl to him but man this head sculpt just looks absolutely incredible they really nailed um, just the whole look of Biggie. Everything just looks incredibly detailed, especially for how small that it is. You can see the hair is done very nice. They even gave him a little bit of a fade that kind of goes down this way. So that looks very nice. And you can even see some of like the texture in the hair, which looks incredible as well. Just everything about this head sculpt looks amazing. And then moving on to the other head sculpt, this one is a more expressive, more angry head sculpt. Just kind of, um, it could be like a performing head sculpt or just a angry yelling uh, kind of facial expression as well. But other than the different expressions, everything else is going to be exactly the same so nothing different on there and then we'll take a quick look at the one that is included so we'll zoom out just a little bit and you can see this one is just a little bit more relaxed and laid back we'll take a better look once we actually look at the figure in its entirety but zooming back in and taking a look at the rest of the accessories that we get i'm just going to start grabbing stuff so first thing we have here is this cane which looks um it looks okay it's just done in black but the top here is done in a nice like metallic i would almost call it like a copper color it's not really gold it's more so copper copper and then on the bottom uh, it is just black but you do have that little different detail right down there and then moving on we have his sunglasses uh, which these are supposed to be Versace glasses and to be honest they should be gold right here instead of silver and all the promo pictures they were gold as well so I'm not sure why these came out silver but yeah they should be gold they're supposed to be Versace glasses but they they look good for what they are that's that just bugs me that that should have been gold Moving on, uh, we have a microphone as well, and I like that this is not just a reused version of the microphone that we have with ODB. This is actually a completely different microphone. I do have a little bit of a scuff right there. You can see that little bit of white paint there, and I haven't even put it in the hand yet, so that's just straight out of the box. It's like that, but it is a different style of microphone, which I like. They didn't just reuse parts, and then we also have this glass of champagne right here, uh, which is going to be hard to focus because it's kind of like see-through, but you know, it looks fine. It's just a clear glass with a kind of like a milky inside, but it, it looks good enough especially when posing it with the figure so that looks decent there and then we have some of the included hats so you have this uh like fedora style hat right here uh almost like a kango hat if you will but that looks good there's a lot of just texture and it's not just like a flat piece there's a lot of wrinkles sculpted in here so that looks nice and then you have i don't even know what you would call this style of hat but you know biggie was kind of famous for wearing the style of hat but it looks pretty good it is like a softer pliable material so you can kind of mess with the brim a little bit but it does look pretty nice you can see some nice like indentations up here as the hat would look in real life so yeah that looks pretty pretty nice and then we have a plethora of um hands so i'm just going to start going through them so we have this one fisted hand and just very good details there like on the knuckle area right there just wow 
that looks incredible. And it looks almost exactly like, you know, when you ball your fist up, just the amount of detail that's in there looks like the bones are sticking out and the knuckles and everything. And you have nice pinky ring right there as well. If we can focus, there we go. And then we have another hand that is um, just not as clenched. This is probably, I would say, probably what you would hold the cane with if I had to guess. But you have this one here that is a little bit more open. And then you have this one here that is, uh, I'm going to say this is probably what you would hold the champagne with. But that looks pretty nice as well. It's just a little bit more open there. Uh, you have another fisted hand just for the other side. So it's going to be exactly the same. But man, look at that. You can even see like this vein popping out right there. Wow, the details on this are crazy. Uh, and then you have these two hands that are exactly the same, only difference being the pinky ring on the one side, but they are just these like kind of open hands. And again, same exact hand right over there. So that is it for the accessories. So let me get all these accessories out of the way and adjust the camera angle so we can take a closer look at Biggie. All right, and here's Biggie up close and personal, and you can see that more relaxed facial expression that he is donning on this one, which is um, very fitting of him uh, just to have this kind of laid back look. So that looks very nice. Now I'm trying to see, it doesn't look like they got the detail of the lazy eye correct uh he should have a lazy eye that's just how he was naturally you know in person so they just gave him straight on eyes uh, it would just it would have been like a super extra detail to have one eye being lazy and the other one kind of being normal but you know that is what it is other than that head sculpt's going to be exactly the same just a different facial expression but we'll take a quick look at that and then you can obviously see his jesus piece that he has wrapped around his neck which is removable if you did want to take it off and we could take a closer look at that so it is just done in it's a weird um shade of gold it's kind of got like a green tint to it but uh i don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up this actually looks really good for it being so tiny you can clearly you know make out jesus right there which is crazy uh we're just going to throw it back on him now since it is part of the outfit and how it comes out of the box but it is removable if you did want to take it off and then looking at the trench coat that he has on all the details on there look pretty nice you can see all the different like buttons and everything done in silver now this is kind of like odb where this section is a separate like rubber piece and then the arms are just sculpted on that way so this is like hard plastic and then this is just rubber right here uh, i guess if you wanted to in theory you could probably take it off and then just be left with like a black long sleeve shirt but um i think it probably will look weird so uh this doesn't look too weird whereas odb did look a little bit weird if you guys saw my review on that but this looks fine uh and just tons of wrinkles and everything all sculpted throughout just a way of you can see even like how this waves uh sideways over here just a way of making a plain black trench coat just giving it more life by adding all these little details of the creases and the folds and everything like that even going throughout the back you can see all this nice kind of creasing right there to not just make it one flat piece i really like that attention to detail and then coming down again pants are just plain black but all the wrinkles that are sculpted in especially right here where the pants meet the uh the boots right here that just looks great the way that they all fold up and everything like that and you can see some of the stitching right there on the side and then as we come to the back here. Now getting to the boots, I am a little bit disappointed because right out of the box, before I even took it out, this has a chip right here. I don't know if you guys can see that black chip right there on the front of the boots. That is very, very bothersome. It's very prominent. I wouldn't have minded if it was, you know, maybe somewhere on the side or on the inside or the back, but right there on the front, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. So that just kind of sucks. There we go. There's probably a little bit better look at it right there if the camera would cooperate. Yeah, so, but other than that, the boots do look pretty good. They are a little bit different from ODB, so they're not exactly the same, which is uh, another thing I appreciate because they didn't just reuse parts. And what's interesting is the way that they did the articulation. So you can see the boot is a completely separate piece. And then the articulation joints are actually inside of the boot. I don't know how well... You guys can see that right there. So when you move the boot up and we just actually pop the whole thing off, uh, but that, that actually works out. So you can see the peg right there. And then if we look on the inside of the boot, you can actually see the peg hole right there. So it's a very clever and interesting way that they actually did that. So I am going to just slide that back in place, which is going to be a little weird because of the angle. So I'm going to have to do this off camera. Okay, there we go. So yeah, anyways, it's it's just an interesting look. It, it does look a little weird when you look at it like kind of from the top view because you can see just a giant like circular hole right there. But, um, you know, other than that, I, I like how they pulled it off. I think it's pretty nice. And you do have the treads on the bottom of the feet as well as peg holes if the camera would cooperate. There we go. So treads on the bottom of the feet. And wow, there's even a little bit of a black wash over there too. So it's like inside of all the creases, you can see a little bit of black washing too. 
too, and peg holes like I mentioned before. So now let's go ahead and start swapping some accessories and see the different looks we can get out of him. Alright, so here's one look that I gave for him, kind of making a toast and having a more relaxed face as well as holding the cane up, almost like he's at a party. So I'll just kind of pan through that to show you guys what that looks like. So there is the cane. You can't actually get it touching the floor, which is very nice. And then as we pan up right over here, you can see him holding the champagne glass as well as wearing the hat and having the glasses on. Um, I will say the parts as far as swapping the hands and whatnot were not as simple as doing it with ODB, mainly because of the sleeves kind of getting in the way. But the hat just fits right on perfectly. The glasses as well just slide right on and fit perfectly. You can have him holding the glasses on top of his forehead like that if you wanted to. Uh, the glass, you know, that just slid right in place like that. And you have that right there. So that looks pretty cool. So let's see what other looks we can get out of him. All right, so here is another look uh, similar to the pose that I gave uh, to ODB performing with the handout and everything like that. Um, it's an okay look. I don't think I would display him like this, but it does look good. So I put the Jesus piece back on. I used the same hand that I used for the champagne for the microphone. I got the open hand here with the uh, pinky ring. And then you can have different looks, obviously, if you want the hat off, which probably looks best for performing, I think. You can also take the glasses off if you wanted to. You can throw the other hat on, which I don't think this one really works too well for performing, but, you know, it looks okay. Uh, so I'll do one more look, and then we'll do the articulation and uh, kind of wrap up this video. Okay, and here is my last look here. So I took the Jesus piece off, I put the cane back on, and I gave him the fisted hand, almost make him look like he's rolling dice, which, you know, I think it actually works out pretty well, especially if you just angle it just maybe a little bit further back like that or even just how I had it or, or if you just want kind of like a relaxed uh, pose you can kind of go that way as well and just have them hanging out there again you can do the glasses you can do the hat however which way you see fit you know that works as well uh, this one works as well so just different options obviously however you feel fit and whatever your style is I'm still not sure exactly how I'm going to pose him on my shelf when I'm all said and done with this review but for now uh, we'll go with this pose and maybe I'll switch it up before this hat is backwards maybe we'll switch it up before the end of the video but that is the pose that I have right there so I do want to go over the articulation really quickly so let me get all these accessories out they're going to be pretty much exactly the same as ODB so I'll just kind of run through it really quickly so the head is on a ball joint it can go left and right forward uh can't really go back so oh well, yeah i guess it can but you're just kind of popping it off of the ball at that point so it can go back a little bit and then of course you do have side to side pivot as well the arms can go out pretty much all the way let me fix that so they can go out pretty much all the way they can do a full 360 you do have a single bend right there at the elbow so decent enough i think a double uh double bended elbow or double hinged elbow would have been a little bit better you do have the hands that go forward and backwards like that and they can swivel back and forth you do have uh, some nice motion right here so you have this upper part that can kind of move back and forth just a little bit and also swivel independently independently of the waist but it is a little bit hindered by the jacket and then you do have obviously the waist as well which can go side to side and forward and back but again it is a little bit hindered by this jacket and then the legs can kick forward quite a bit they can kick back just a little bit right there you do have a bend at the knee which is a single bend again not double jointed or anything like that just a single joint and then we already talked about the boots that can articulate forward you can go back oh actually not really they are hindered right there so you can only go back a little bit and then you have side to side as well so not like a ton of motion because of the shape of the pants but it is there you get a lot of front motion at least so that is pretty nice and i think that's pretty much it for the articulation maybe uh, maybe i forgot to mention that you can have turn or swivel right here at the um the elbows but other than that there's the articulation so let me go ahead get him together get odb in the picture as well we'll do a quick comparison and then we'll film the outro of the video all right so here is big and odb together and man they look incredible they're both just amazing figures each have their own like pros and cons i, I think the biggest complaint i would have with them is i feel like both of them need double jointed elbows at the very least i don't think you need double jointed knees but definitely elbows for more posability i think that would just benefit a lot but i mean these look absolutely incredible together i cannot wait to get hopefully the rest of the wu-tang clan maybe tupac hopefully some dmx in there i'm just thinking of like other people that they have i know in the seven inch line they have um ghost face they have uh salt and pepper i believe uh, i think they have tlc i'm pretty sure they have biz marquee if i didn't say that already but it would just be great to have like a whole hip-hop shelf i think that would just look absolutely incredible have a big pun figure like a super big size deluxe figure a big pun would be crazy i mean i can go on and on i'm just such a hip-hop fan 
fan and just having these figures in my collection, man, I could not be any happier to have these. Super 7 knocked it out of the park with these Ultimate figures. Alright, you guys, so there's my review of the Super 7 Ultimates Notorious B.I.G., a.k.a. Biggie Smalls 7-inch figure. Man, this thing is just absolutely incredible. I think I found the way I'm going to display him, and that's with this setup here with the, the hands up, the mic up, like he's performing and whatnot, the angry face, definitely the glasses. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the hat. I think... I don't know, should I do the hat? Uh, I'm ha oh, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I'm having a hard time deciding if I should do uh, the hat or not. Man, because that looks good too. I don't know, I think I might go without the hat though. I think, that depends what setup. I feel like if you're going to go with this hat, it's kind of the Big Papa look where you have to go with the cane and the champagne. But I think this might be the way that I display them. I don't know. Stay tuned for a future room tour. You guys will see them on display. But like I mentioned earlier, this figure is absolutely amazing. My only complaint really is that I think it needs double jointed elbows, especially to give it uh, better posability if you're trying to make them look like they're performing. And just on this particular figure, on the Biggie figure, it was very hard to kind of swap the hands in and out just because of the sleeves getting in the way where ODB was way easier to do that. But other than that, no complaints for me. I absolutely love this figure as well as the ODB figure. If you haven't seen my review on that, be sure to check it out. It was yesterday's video. It'll be on the screen for you guys to check out. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.